Okay, hello everyone. I welcome you all to another video of our sorting series. So we just started sorting uh, sorting series from the previous uh, video, right? Uh, in the previous video, we talked about what is sorting exactly and how we can use a inbuilt sort, which is provided by C++ SQL library. Okay. So in this video, we are going to talk about in place sorting. Right. So um, we are going to talk about in place sorting. Right. Right. So in place sorting, uh, it means that it uses constant extra space for producing the output. Meaning it modifies the given array. It does not use a different array to sort the list. Alright, we sort the list in the array itself. So there are three main, uh, you know, uh, in place sorting algorithms. One is uh, bubble sort. Right. Second is insertion sort. And third is selection sort. Okay. Cool. So now we'll talk about these algorithms one by one. So in this video, we are going to learn about what is bubble sort, what is the type of lexicon, how to code it. Okay. So um, let me give you a very brief idea, like what bubble sort exactly is. Right. In bubble sort, what happens? Suppose you are given a an array right, of you know some terms x1. X two till four X N. Okay. This is your array. Um, this array is not sorted. Okay. So what I am going to do um, here is uh, that suppose I start from this element and I iterate over this loop. Okay, from here to here. Alright. Now, my question is if I iterate over through this loop and every time if I find an element, um, suppose x1, it is, you know, greater than x2. So uh, I swap these two elements. Okay. Similarly, x2, if it is you know, greater than x3, we swap it. And this thing will go onwards. Alright. So, that's how we uh, move forward. Okay. So, um, like if uh, we do it over this uh, whole thing, what will happen that in the end, we'll have the largest element okay and if i do this thing n minus 1 times all right if you know i uh, do this thing n minus 1 times my array would be sorted all over right is that right? Okay. Now uh, we we'll have an example. Let's suppose we have five, one, four, two, and eight. Okay. Now suppose I iterated for the first time. What will happen? First of all, 1 and 5 would get replaced. Right. Let's say that this is the first pass. So 1 and 5 would uh, be replaced. Right. 1 would be here, 5 would be here. Then 5 and 4 would be replaced. Right. So 4 would be here and 5 would be here. Then 5 and 2 would be replaced as well. So, 
2 would be here and 5 would be here okay so and but 8 is greater than 5 so this would be the final thing okay. so you can see that 8 is at its correct place in the first part let's say it's the first part let's now talk about the second part okay 1 and 4 we will uh, see so those are going to change we have it as it is 2 and 4 will get replaced so 2 would be here 2 would be here 5 would be here and 6 would be here okay so you can see our the array is sorted but our uh, you know uh, what do we say? Um, algorithm doesn't know that this thing is sorted, but so it will uh, go for it again. All right, for the third pass, and for the fourth pass as well. It should be same. There will be no difference, but that is how it will go. It will go till fourth pass in the worst case. So, yeah, this can be said as the best case but it can go to the worst case so uh, okay first of all let's try to code this one okay. let's and then we'll be able to understand better how is our code correct or not okay let's say void bubble sort let's have an array Let's have two variables and type j. We say for int i is equal to zero and is a min of this case. Similarly for int um, j is equal to zero, then it's um, n minus i minus one to this case. We are doing this thing because we know that after every uh, iteration um, one element at the end would be at the third okay so we don't need to search for that okay so what did i tell you here was if array j greater than array j plus one if this is the case we we'll simply swap array j with array j plus one So let's have a main function. Okay. Uh, let's have the array as mm, let's um, let's take the same example. Five, comma one, comma two, comma three, comma eight. Right. And we will have it in as one two three. Okay. Let's run the result on array comma. Uh, now we are simply check if we got the correct output or not. Okay, you can see we got the correct output. Right, one, two, three, five, eight. This was the required output. Okay. Let's try to add few more terms like six, ten, and what else can we add? Three. Okay. So I would be eight now. Right. So let's run this in. So you can see it again. This is the current output here. Right. This is the required output. So one thing which uh, you should notice here, what would be the time complexity of this uh, bubble sort? Can you think of it? Uh, since it is a nested loop, the 
time of velocity will be simply O or L square. Right? This is the time of velocity. So I guess you learned what is bubble sort, right? And what is its time complexity and how is it coded and how is it used. All right, you also talk uh, via dry run as well. Okay. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. And in the next video we are going we'll to talk about insertion sort. So if you have any doubt regarding regarding this video, you may ask it in the comment section. Uh, thank you for watching this video. See you later.